What's up everybody and welcome back here for a special Saturday upload here on the channel That is because we did get an update on Torque Drift The update a lot of people have been waiting for That of the A86 Tofu That of Takumi Fujiwara And the initial D cars So we have a lot of big things in this update with freestyle game modes We have a big challenge with the Tofu delivery cart And uh, some new body kits for the JZX and some new layouts for Long Beach and stuff like that. But today, we, it is all about that, you know, tofu delivery. And uh, we do have a tofu delivery challenge here in the game. And we're going to take care of that today. We did it once. We did get the uh, decals for um, our AE86. Because we do have the special tofu edition a86 that we're going to be doing full builds on it is right now just got all sports our aftermarket parts in it but we're going to be doing a full build on this thing we don't already put the decals on there of course you know stay true so let's get into this tofu challenge and uh see how we can do this is probably one of the hardest challenges that they have put out here because we are driving the stock e86 tofu delivery car with tofu mode on or off which uh tofu mode on is pretty sweet gives a, that cool anime feel but 200,000 for the decals 250 for neon create 350,000 points for toge ninja title and that's a lot because the car has 297 horsepower and uh it it's rough to keep the car going and if you make one mistake and you hit the wall the run's pretty much done because you don't get any type of clean leads or anything we are on hakone reversed full track so let's send it little tofu delivery for you guys today to see if we can not break our tofu and uh, have a nice solid run because uh, I broke the tofu last time because I hit the wall. There we go, initiating in. We're getting the, that tofu mode with the streaking taillights, which is so super cool. You know, I did grow up watching Initial D and stuff like that, so Initial D was a big thing for me, watching the live action one as well as reading the animes and watching the anime videos. So we gotta try and just get as many points as we can through certain sections. And it, the track, there's no way you're gonna drift the entire track. You're not gonna be able to link it because if you do a lot of manjis and stuff like that, you're gonna run out of speed and not get to the clips before they disappear. Like that one, those almost just disappeared on me. So I'm gonna straighten up a little bit, gain a little speed, kick the car back in and uh, keep going. So you almost have to, on certain parts of the track, almost just straight line it to get some speed up for the car so that you can make some of the turns as well as actually make it to the clips beforehand. This is uh, an extremely hard challenge. I know a lot of people have gotten some really high scores, but I'm uh, kind of struggling a little bit on this challenge. It is a lot of fun. They weren't going to make this easy. The game devs definitely bringing out a banger update. And there goes my clean lead. So we're going to restart that run right there because like if you're trying to get that you know that tofu uh the toge ninja icon you cannot pretty much hit the wall you need to stay and get a clean get a clean run get the clean run points because i was only able to get 200,000 with uh smacking into the wall once so we're gonna try and do this as clean as possible we're probably just gonna run this one fully through anyways and finish this one out so we can get a gauge on how how many points we are at there we go running the wall a little bit getting some points getting greedy the car doesn't have much steering lock so if you snap it too far sideways uh there's no recovering it and uh it's pretty much done from there so we are going to be able to link this section though because we are at a good pace we oh we did miss those clips because we weren't fast enough I'm gonna get out to this wall but i'm super scared to get out too far out to the wall and uh smack into it and lose a clean lead but we are doing a lot better on this one save it save it save it i know i'm doing a lot of manjing but the card does not have as much power as you would think to be able to hold some of these turns i could probably go into fourth for some of these turns but it would bog down on other turns so we're gonna straighten up here we're gonna gain some speed and we're gonna kick it Slow down so we don't jump airborne and totally lose the clean lead. 
Oh, it's it's nerve wracking trying to do this because you have this entire track that you don't want to hit a wall on, and you want to try and get as much of the close calls as you can, try and get as many clips as you can, but you also don't want to lose the chance of uh, hitting the wall and not getting some sort of clean lead points because I believe that's what's going to make or break the uh, run totals. And we got to slow down a lot here. Actually, it's the next turn. we got to slow down a lot because it gets really sharp and I always tend to overshoot that and smack into the wall. But this time we were able to uh, not smack the wall. Like I said, I've done this once before and I got the 200,000. Oh. Oh my. Oh, the wall taps are making this very super sketchy because like I said, I'm trying to do this and actually see if I can get a clean lead. We are nowhere near these outer barriers though. And we're only at 100,000. You can see we're also a little bit too slow for those clips. So now we're coming into the tunnel edge skyline section. So hopefully we can run this better because this section is okay to run with a slower car. Get out there, get the uh, crucial close call points. Gonna fishtail this in, getting those tofu lights active. Oof. So we, I don't think we're gonna get anywhere near to that super high score because, well, we're getting close to the edge end, and we're only at. Like 250 or 150, and 300 and some thousand is incredible. So, and there's the lot on the last section, the loss of our clean lead. So unfortunately, that's not going to help us. So we're going to just see what we can finish this run with, and we may take another crack at it. All the way close to the end, and we biff it into the wall. Unfortunately, that's not going to be good for us, and that's all she's going to write. I don't even think I'm going to get 200,000. I didn't even get 200,000. That wasn't even good enough to get the tofu delivery icons. Jeez. So, probably the hardest challenge that I've ever tried is this tofu challenge. So, I'm definitely going to try those try that again a little bit more while it's available. I think it's available for a good amount of time, but we are going to take a look at the freestyle. Yeah, that's up for another uh, 100, what is that? 144 hours. So yeah, we're, we got some time. So freestyle events are definitely insane. I've only been able to win once on one of these. The freestyles are super cool and a lot of fun. You get to run, you know, the tracks and you know freestyle it run it however you want to try to get points so we're gonna hop into the slab and try to win a second one in the slab you know this is something that they were teasing about and they came out with it and it's it's incredibly fun it's just a way to kill you know kill some time you get some cash and some uh, bullion and all that as well so I found it's very good to try and get all those times fives but you also don't want to just go for those you also want to go you know and just get normal points and normal uh, clipping points. So we're going to run this out. That's not a good way to start off. We're going to try and sweep this out to the times five. Click that. Try and loop it around. But yeah, this these are also extremely difficult for me right now. And I, I think it's because I'm just so focused on trying to get those. I need to just run some other lines and just try and get as many points as I can because it's uh it always looks like i'm winning and then it gets to the end and it's like nope you uh don't have enough points you're gonna get passed and uh, i'm usually a couple you know 10 20 000 points behind where is kind of where i'm sitting at right now as well even more so because they just uh got even more points and i found out that when you are doing it if you do not smack anything you're better if you lose drift at any point into it, it's really hard to keep going. I don't know if your guys' scores are lower than mine, but uh, mine are pretty high, and it's uh, it's quite difficult to uh, you know stay consistent. You know when you're trying to get those gold things, and they constantly are changing. So I'm gonna do the same thing as I did last round. 
we're gonna restart that. We're gonna go on the outside of the barrier this time. So it's hard because you don't have, you know, a set plan. But if you're just winging it, having fun with it, it's definitely a blast. You know, this game mode that they brought out is a lot of fun, you know, to do. And, you know, maybe... And there we go again. I can't not get in here without smacking into the wall. So maybe that... Because I'm not sure if this is actually online or if these are just... Uh, preset times or preset scores or kind of randomized scores I'm I'm not gonna actually ask and find out about that because I'm very curious uh, because it would be sweet if these were like live online scores or you could do some live online stuff with friends and things like that nature with uh, these freestyles and just be able to have a lot of fun we're gonna go straight into that barrier I knew that was gonna happen as soon as I started sliding I knew exactly what was going to go wrong. And like I said, if you're not on top pretty much the entire time, you will not win. Although, see, right there, right at the end, they bump up another 30-some thousand and take the win off me. It's definitely crazy fun, and uh, Third Shift did a huge, huge update. And that Tofu Challenge, definitely very hard. If you guys completed it, you know, send me a screenshot, you know, of you guys on Instagram of it being completed because... You know, it's it's a struggle with you know only having the little amount of horsepower and trying to be smooth the entire track. And I think that's really what it boils down to is I was not able to complete a smooth run yet without uh, smacking in the wall. So if you can get a clean run, then that's probably a better benefit for you in trying to complete that challenge. I will definitely be trying to complete it because I would love to get the Toge Ninja uh, name badge and throw that up on my uh, gamer tag. But it's uh, it's not easy. We're gonna try and loop this circle, but I feel like they're gonna be just way, way ahead of us. We're gonna loop that circle though. We're gonna bring it out here and try and loop this wall. And we just got outed again. So we're gonna try another one of these freestyle tracks and then maybe go back and try the tofu one one more time before we end this episode off like i said a special upload for you guys today with this update and uh it's definitely a very big one we're gonna run the tofu one one more time and then we may run another freestyle so if you guys make sure you guys follow me on instagram and twitter all of which are found in the description box below if you guys have any tips on how to uh complete this tofu challenge easier let me know down below other than not hitting the wall because I already know that. Did I turn off tofu mode? I think I turned, no, nope, no, nope, tofu mode's active. Tofu mode can be turned on and off, which is kind of cool. I did get the uh, custom 8.6 with the tofu mode, so I will be doing a full build on that car. I am not doing good at all on this entry. I will be doing a full build on that car, getting that car up and using that car way, way more because it's just an iconic car and such a fun car to drive. I'm really super upset that they got rid of Toyotas and Forza and stuff like that because the 8.6 is a blast to drive in all kinds of games. And the fact that we have the actual initial D car in Torque Drift is another big thing. We can run the Toge roads with it. I've been seeing a lot of people already upping the stock 8.6 to some pro levels with some nice wide body kits and everything like that. Instagram is blowing up with these, to with these uh, 8.6s. So... I know the Torch Drift community is super happy to have these. I'm super excited to have these. The devs did an amazing job, you know, bringing this car into the game. And uh, now we can uh, play those Euro beats behind us and uh, have some fun in our 8.6 and pretend, you know, we're doing some uh, initial D stuff. And I can see a lot of uh, pictures coming out with uh, some other initial D replica cars and the Tofu car. I keep saying the tofu car, but the initial D car, you know what I mean. With people um, replicating, I've seen already the S13s from the Akag Akagi Speed Suns and all that stuff being. Speed Suns totally screwed that up. I've seen replicas from the initial D cars. I know I sound like I don't know what I'm talking about, but, you know, I do. I've watched them, I have all the animes and I've seen all the movies. So, it's definitely fun to have it in the game now but like i said make sure you follow me on instagram and twitter if you have any tips for me 
let me know and there's a loss of points already and we're done we are pretty much done with this run already so <laughs> I think I'm gonna end it here a little quick update video for you guys a little tofu delivery time so I'm gonna be trying this challenge more and more to make sure I get it I think we're gonna try it one more time like I said this is a big upload so we are going to do it one more time and hopefully we can accomplish this because definitely a challenge so let's see what we can do and hopefully we can uh, maybe end this episode off on a banger um nobody saw that I tried way too hard to uh, throw that car in all right let's do this I gotta get the Euro beats going in my head too bad uh, I couldn't probably actually play the Euro beats because you know YouTube would copyright my video right away give me a copyright strike and I don't want that YouTube not allowing me to do my Euro beats in the background for you guys but I know everybody's driving this car in their head is go is those Euro beats are going in people's heads I'm gonna kick it up into fourth and see what we can do. Maybe fourth was the gear we needed to go into. Ah, oh, it's bogging. Like fourth gear bogs down in this car. Kicking it fourth for some sections. I'm just trying as much as I can, but I don't think fourth is gonna work. It, I feel so out of my element with this car right now, not having the angle, and that's gonna be it. So, I'm gonna end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are enjoying the update. Let me know down in the comments if you guys got any tips, tricks, or little things to help me out try and accomplish this challenge. As always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.